What is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at all three Lego Ahsoka Tano minifigures. They've released three so far and hopefully they release a season seven version which is season seven of the Clone Wars which just dropped a few weeks ago. The final episode was amazing. These are the three versions of Ahsoka that Lego has made so far. So uh, we got the first version of the Clone Wars which came out like probably about a decade ago now uh, in the first wave first waves of the Clone Wars sets I honestly don't know which year specifically this came out but I know this one was out in like 2013 14 those it was in like two sets so this one's a little harder to get and then we have the Star Wars Rebels version of Ahsoka which is definitely the hardest minifigure to get at this current time all three are pretty amazing minifigures now they, the quality does get higher as you go down the list of Ahsoka minifigures so to start off, we do got all different types of lightsabers for Ahsoka. So the first version of Ahsoka has that one singular lightsaber and they use a different type of lightsaber color for her. So it's kind of like a, a neon type green for Ahsoka there. Um, and then her version two lightsaber, she's got two basic green lightsabers that we see right here. Um, so it's just two basic normal color green ones, even though in the show she does have a shorter like yellow on her. The Star Wars Rebels version of Ahsoka, she has two lightsabers once again, but it's her two white ones. Uh, they actually made it like a odd color of blue for this. So they gave her like these curved hilts for her lightsabers this time, but they gave her like, these weird colored uh, blue lightsabers for this. I'm not too sure why. It's not the basic uh, blue lightsaber color either. So it's just an interesting choice that they made there. The first version of Ahsoka um, is pretty basic. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, you got the normal head tail piece here. As you guys can see, everything on the head tail uh, piece right here is a little bit lighter than it is on the second version. The first version is just a little bit lighter. The second version is a little bit darker. The face print is also different for Ahsoka on the first to the second version. These two, you know, show off the Clone Wars style of face that they put for the faces. So the Star Wars Rebels version of Ahsoka does have this longer head tail piece here and it is from the Shock T minifigure I believe and they reused it for Ahsoka for Rebels. It works perfectly and they added her design there, the darker blue. It's much larger this time and it's more of a rubbery piece instead of a harder plastic. They also added her little front design there as well. So uh, once you remove all the head tail pieces you are able to get a good look at um, the opposite side of their faces and you can see that Star Wars Rebels Ahsoka and the second version of Ahsoka have two-sided face, so it's more battle-ready faces for these two versions. Uh, the first version of Ahsoka does not have a double-sided face, so it's just that one basic uh, face design there. So that's just an interesting little detail to see. But again, though, these two sport the Clone Wars design, and this one sports more of the basic Lego design face, so she's still got her markings and everything like that. She is sporting more of a classic Lego minifigure design, so it looks pretty cool there. Now, moving on to design of the torso and legs. Each of them are very drastically different. Um, the first version of Ahsoka is the most basic, of course. Um, there's no design on her legs, but she's got like a brown, you know, waist piece there. And then the two lighter gray leg pieces. You got dark brown legs there, as well as dark brown legs on um, Rebels Ahsoka as well. The first design of Ahsoka just has printing on the front torso. So you got her basic design you see in season one. You can see it pretty well down there on the front but when you move on the back there is no printing on the back for some reason it looks pretty odd honestly i'm surprised they didn't go ahead and you know complete that design it does look pretty off but um that's just what they decided to do a second version of ahsoka here is just much more detailed uh you got the whole entire front here designed real well uh you got the figure shape there purple you know draping down right there on the um, the leg piece there and then the torso it's just it all it all goes together real well with the gold and the dark red and everything like that, the brown. The design is pretty nice. Uh, you also got like a little necklace piece there showing right around her neck there. So pretty cool there. You got like a dark red waist piece there with more printing connected with the torso and the legs. So yeah, it goes together pretty well. And on the back, you can see they got an actual completed design this time on the back. So you can see the open space there, dark red pouch section right there, completing the belt type piece around Ahsoka. If you can tell just a little bit, it is a little darker on her head tails there, just to see that again. Uh, again, it does move to a little lighter again with Ahsoka and Rebels, but um, that is another whole piece altogether. So 
So moving on to Rebels Ahsoka. Uh, her design is probably the most detailed, if I've got to be honest. So she's got that, of course, long head, head tail piece. So I'll take that off so I can show you the entire design. Uh, it looks pretty close to what you see in Rebels. The design works really, really well. And we got the printing there on the legs of like a tan and um, a gray right there. You got the brown in the center with the metallic silver in the center there as well. Um, really resembles Rebels Ahsoka well. And we also got, you know, that the belt finishing off on the back and not a whole lot else it is a really detailed design there too. And it's honestly my favorite design of the three. So in terms of actual value right now, um, I wanted to include this section because each of these Ahsoka minifigures kind of go in wide ranges of value at this current time. The first one is actually the easiest one to get, even though it is the oldest. It came in the most sets. I don't remember, I don't know how many sets it came in, but I know it came in quite a few of like the first versions of the first Clone Wars sets. Uh, this one I know came in like two sets, so it's a little harder to get. It's a little more pricey to get this. I actually just got this one recently so uh, it was a little pricey to get but I'm definitely glad to add it to my collection just so I have it and the biggest difference in value here is with the Star Wars Rebels version of Ahsoka the Star Wars Rebels version of Ahsoka I didn't even know the value of it until a little bit ago when I started looking it up just I was a little curious and this one is currently going at least if I looked on eBay it is currently going for prices around like over $100, $150 even. I've even seen people go to $200, which is a little drastic, I think, at this point. But um, that just gives you an example on how much this minifigure has skyrocketed in value. Um, it came in a larger set. It's like a Rebel Combat Frigate or something like that. So it was a much bigger set for Rebels. And I don't know how long it was out. I don't know the availability of that set. But I think this minifigure is just in high demand right now, and it's very difficult to get. And I ended up getting it for a pretty good deal. I, I didn't buy the set. I bought the minifigure for like 30 bucks on eBay right when it was coming out. So I even thought that was, you know, pretty pricey. But looking back now, I'm definitely glad I got it because it's an amazing minifigure. And if you do have it, you are very lucky to have that minifigure because right now it is pretty hard to get. Overall, all of the versions of Ahsoka from Lego are pretty darn good. Uh, this one definitely could have added more detail and, you know, just, but it is, again, the oldest version of Ahsoka. It did come out quite a while ago, so I understand, but these two versions really step it up with Ahsoka, especially that Star Wars Rebels one. I really love it. These are definitely getting a little harder to get right now. Hopefully, Lego makes a new one based on Season 7 of The Clone Wars. Uh, I think everybody really wants that minifigure right now along with, you know, other characters like Rex. So hopefully they make some sets with those because I think Ahsoka is probably one of the highest demanded Lego minifigures for Star Wars at this time. Uh, people, I see people making customs and everything like that at this time too. So I think she is in very high demand and if you put her in a set, it will definitely sell that set real well so i hope you guys enjoyed this comparison of all of the ahsoka tano minifigures at least as of may 2020 that i am recording this so hopefully they make a new one soon hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one